Hey guys, this is Translate Dan Beam, and today I'll be talking about the DS's. First off, we have the original Nintendo DS. It was innovative in the fact that it had two screens. It included the SNES X and Y buttons. It had a new form, form factor of it being wide, like an original GBA, yet with a second screen. It came with these all new smaller cartridges, which were easier to carry around, and you know, just made things a whole lot easier. And on top of that, you could use all your Game Boy Advance games. Obviously, this is not your favorite. I, I don't even know how to play this game, but it's just in there as a filler card. And it's innovative, especially since the previous release, the SP, which I do have one, but not on me. Didn't even have a headphone jack. But this one has a headphone and a microphone jack. So, yeah. And it had a stylus. But it was big and chunky. But I'm sure at the time it was kind of comfortable. Although I do have to give it credit for the L and R button placement. But not the screen. The screen is, well... Let's just say not the best. But we'll get to comparing it in just a minute. Next up here we have the DS Lite. Now, this DS Lite is the one I grew up with. You know, it's mine. And, well, I like it. It was nice, but then again, that was coming from a seven-year-old. <clears throat> and so, basically, I liked it because, you know, it was actually, you know, because I was used to ha playing with a Leapster. So this thing was amazing. But enough about my story. Let's get on to the actual DS. It is, this model was much, much slimmer. This is actually much more comfortable to hold. Stylus was easier to get to. I'm not sure about the L the start and select buttons being in a better place. Power switch is definitely in a better place. And, and this is just much more compact and easier to use. But here's the main problem with it. Yes. That is the GBA slot, and this is a GBA, which means that things stuck out, which is sad. But, at the time, the DS was revolutionary, leading in sales, so, you know, they really didn't need, I mean, they could still play it, and that was good enough. And it had the AGS 101 backlit screen. So I'm not sure how well it'll show up on the video. So this one looks much, much better than the previous one. To compare it, here I have the previous one. It's just a quick comparison. Because, you know, they stopped using front lights. And you can see how much better, just, just on camera, how much better this looks. Now, I've had these two devices for a long time. I bought this one on off eBay just to, you know, get it while it's cheap. Cause the prices will eventually start going up on it. So I got it. So from here on is when most people kept it until, like, the 3DS. Unless you're, like, a newcomer and you didn't... Mm, and your parents were nice enough to get you the latest and the greatest device on the market. And you didn't really care about Game Boy games and you wanted a bigger screen, yada yada yada, DSi. Which is fantastic. I mean, I honestly, oh, I mean, after my DS Lite, I got a 3DS XL. And I've been playing this thing for a while now. I've been playing it since 2012. And it's just amazing. 
but I never actually thought to go back and take a look at the DSi. The DSi is much thinner than the DS Lite. It actually has a memory card slot, no Game Boy slot, which is kind of a downer for any longtime fans. Yet another charge port, which I forgot to mention, with, because the um, original DS uses the GBA. The DS Lite uses its own proprietary, but they finally decided to stick on this one, which, you know, I don't know why they did, they just kind of did. But what's nice about this one is it introduced these large screens, which can easily be compared to the DS Lite. Which, I don't know if you can tell that well, but that is fair. Actually, no, that's not really a clear difference. But you can take my word on it. You can take lots of YouTubers' words on it. The DS screen is bigger than the DS light screen. Now I'm probably going to have to adjust the brightness on this one, but it, the DSi has its own menu and also features cameras, which again, using cameras on a DS, it's like using cameras on a tablet. You don't want to be seen in public doing it. Okay. Apparently, this is fairly okay. But you can see here, it's big. It's much bigger than the um, old system. It now has integrated Wi-Fi, and some of the things have moved. But if you're coming from a DS Lite, you should be happy with it. And of course, it's got game game comes off. And most people that had DS Lite didn't really get this DS because, you know, it's not really worth it. But now, when someone offered me 10 bucks for it and loaning them a game for two days, I went ahead and picked it up. So, yeah. But, the real nice thing is this baby. Yes, a DSi XL, which is literally just the blown up version of this. Phone, focus on it. But, but either way, it's got a um bigger screen, like a much bigger screen. Also has new to as another hinge placement, and overall it's a lot better. Now, this is something that I would not really recommend. I mean, the DSi, it's period. I would not recommend upgrading from the DSi unless you're like a really diehard enthusiast about it. But, hey, it's nice to have 20 bucks and Pokemon. I'm, I'm definitely, definitely fun with this purchase. Although I have noticed that if you, like, turn it on and leave it playing a game or something, it will... Like, turn off right as you, you know, like, turn it on, but it, it is, it's a nice system. Um, it's great for playing DS games on it. Stuff. So, you know, but if you're like me, you probably upgraded from the DS Lite, not to this, but to this. Which will be an upcoming video once I actually get the other 3DS's. Which I currently do not own. So, I hope you like this video. And a little bit of a DS history. I don't really have any room for this, but... Hope you enjoyed. And, yeah... But there is one quick thing I forgot to mention. That is the games. Huge, huge, huge library of them. Like, look. There's 10, 11, 12, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Around 20 games in our house. And that is literally just a fraction of the games. And there's some great titles like Sega Collection, New Super Mario Bros., Pokemon Diamond, Mario Kart, Namco Museums, Scribblenauts Trilogy, or just not really Trilogy, but Scribblenauts games are nice. And, you know, they're, they're a bunch of great games. But, you know, if you can buy an R4 card, it's probably worth it nowadays. Super Scribble Nuts is a great game. And then you got Pokemon Ranger. These are my sister's games, by the way. She upgraded from a DS Lite to a DSi XL. Can you believe that? But hey, she's happy with it until the latest game of Pokemon is about. Mm -mm. At least until this latest version of Pokemon comes out. Well, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and see you next time on Translate DMB.